Hi and welcome. Uh, in this video we're going to demonstrate adding products to a project. So in our previous video we created the project using the new project wizard and this is where we left off. There's uh, The project is open uh, in the project editor interface. Uh, we have a list of some locations and systems in the project and now we're going to um, add products to build the bill of materials. One method for adding uh, items to a project uh, or to use the buttons up here, the add product, add labor, add packages buttons. So if you click this, it will open up an add products form that will allow you to um, search your database if you want to use keywords to quickly find what you are looking for. Um, you can also use quick filters along the top here uh, to say filter to a particular manufacturer or a particular category or even phase. Um, so you do get some flexibility to find what you're looking for. Uh, a lot of our users find that the search is the fastest way if you know what you're looking for. And you would pick your product or products using uh, control or shift on your keyboard. Um, prior to doing that, you could change the quantities per line item here. Um, and then at the bottom of the form here, you'll see that you can pick uh, a location or locations for the products to go as well as a system and that's one way of assigning uh, products and adding them here to the bill of materials. Um, another method would be to drag and drop items from the explorers over here. There's a product explorer, labor explorer, and a package explorer looking at your catalog uh, into the project. Um, and to do that you're going to first pick the location or locations where you want to add equipment. Uh, for instance, let's maybe start here in the conference room and we'll go AV system and we'll go ahead and add um, a product. So uh, click the product explorer uh, tab and this will um, pull out a little window here. Uh, it will auto hide if you click away from it. So um, while you're working in here, if you'd like to keep it pinned in position, go ahead and click this little thumbtack icon there. And uh, now this is a, a list of your uh, all the products that are in your catalog and uh, you can search here once again to find what you're looking for or use quick filters here like again to manufacture a category however it is that you want to find the product you want to add I'm gonna go ahead and just type in um, some keyword here or partial keyword and we'll go ahead and add this camera uh, again to the conference room um, actually it's not gonna be a V system here uh, let's go ahead and add another system on the fly here so um, I don't have this already in the list, so I'm going to say conferencing system. Go ahead and save that. So we'll check that. And so now just drag this over either here to the um, grid, if you will. It will look like a grid shortly once products are added. Or over here to the add section, your preference. Um, you can also hit the add to project button here. Uh, no matter which way you approach that, it will be added to the conference room conferencing system. So I'll just drag this over and drop it into the project. And if you scroll over a little, you'll see that it was assigned um, the location and uh, system. So scroll back over here. And uh, you can continue to add products this way. You'll, you'll find other things that you want to add here. Um, just uh, as an example here, we can put in um, some speakers in the conferencing room. Uh, or I'm sorry, in the conference room as part of the AV system. And we can search for speakers here, speakers. And uh, this is pulling up, um, here's one we added in a previous video. So let's say we want six of these speakers uh, over in the project. So we'll just drag it over again, uh, drop it. And you can see that six speakers have been added here. And um, next I'll show you how uh, bulk wire is added to a project. So we created some bulk wire in, again in a previous video. Uh, here it is right here. We'll say that we want six drops of this wire in the conference room for each one of those speakers. And here you'll see a prompt for uh, assigning the head end of the wire and the wire length. Uh, the most important thing here being the wire length because um, as demonstrated in uh, prior videos, uh, the bulk wire, anything that's coming off of the spool is charged by the foot. Um, so if you want to change this here, so it's not a hundred foot per drop, you might say, well, let's average this out and guess. We'll say that it's going to be 50 feet for each run, um, of wire. And then the uh, head end would be uh, optional if you want to pick it at this point, but, uh, this would be important for doing, uh, installation drawings. So we'll say the audio head end 
hit a sign and that bulk wire now a drop for each has been added um, uh, notice over here that you'll see this component ID little side note on that that's essentially your wire number here uh, for later on when you um, if you decide to do drawings um, and then just um, you know continue adding products here until you've got um, the project spec'd out um, so real quickly I'm just gonna add a few things here uh, so we at least have a few locations because I do want to show um, how to change the view out here so real quickly let's put a rack in here um, I'm gonna pull this rack in this time I dragged over to the add section uh, let's go ahead and put um, one more device in here and we'll say we want uh, two of these for this project again, and I'll drag it in here and again it's being assigned the proper location um, so this view out here can be changed uh, even though the, the purpose of this video is to show um, how to add products uh, it may be important for you to change your layout as you're working so uh, we have some preset layouts here like showing the pricing of products or, or the common fields for pricing or um, the description fields and again these are just the presets you can always create your own custom layouts and uh, you eventually will over time um, besides this one of the other things that you can do out here is choose how to group um, the products here in the grid and a uh, popular option since we are organizing this uh, project by location um, and also by system uh, that we can group by one of those options here for example if we group by location you'll see now over here in the grid uh, a collapsible um, tree format for the items that are in the conference room and the items that are in the equipment closet in this case um, so uh, you may prefer looking at something like this I'm gonna go ahead and leave that uh, for now now uh, in this example labor is being charged per item that's been added to this project so um, just a real quick way to view that is if you open up a project by double clicking it uh, here go to the price tab you'll see that this uh, project is using phase labor so it's assigned a phase and a number of hours and um, set up in the control panel would be the phase rates how much you charge for trim out work um, so you can see the price on this is um, hundred dollars but the installation price that including the labor um, comes to 163.75 in this example so labor is being charged that way uh, but another way to charge labor um, is via the labor items uh, again demonstrated in prior videos so let's go ahead and add um, programming labor to this job so the each uh, product is accounting for its installation time but in this case just for the say the equipment closet and I'll just call it the control system um, system I'm gonna um, pull out the labor Explorer here and add this programming line item and you know, I'll drag it over here and click add and if I scroll down here and take a look you'll see that um, this labor item has been added to the project and I'll double click that to open this go to the price tab and here's where you can now adjust the hours and again estimate out uh, how many hours of programming you want to uh, put in this job so in this case we'll say eight hours of programming and save it and uh, now this will just get added into all of the background labor calculations that are here um, and that's the basics of adding items to a project uh, so continue um, adding in you know take care of add the rest of the equipment to the equipment closet the offices um, whatever systems you're doing here um, again just here for an example let's say we're gonna put a um, camera in both the conference room and the equipment closet for surveillance not for conferencing so we'll call that part of the security system and real quickly find a, a camera one of these per location so once again I'm just gonna drag it over I'll drop it in here um, what you're seeing here in this case is a prompt for accessories um, any product can be accessorized with other products in this case there's two wires associated um, with this uh, particular camera and if you'd like to add those wires you can and because these are bulk wires once again you're gonna get that prompt for the wire length and then the head end of the wire so you know we can say that um, security and then this one is going to uh, electrical head end hit a sign and you've now added that camera so 
again, just continue on building this. And then when you're ready, you can uh, run any number of reports out of the software. Proposal reports, management reports, um, you know, double check your profits. And we will cover that in uh, the next video.